from the Ewell Project and today guys we are going to be cooking roasted vegetable and couscous salad from the cooking step-by-step -step book. But don't worry if you haven't got that guys, we're going to go all through it. Doesn't it look absolutely delicious? So guys, this serves four people um, or and you can have it hot or cold. You could have it as a side dish and serve chicken or say fish or even cheese with it. So let's get started. So guys, should we get on with our roasted vegetable and couscous salad? But what are we going to do first, guys? We've got to wash these things. So let's have a look at the ingredients we're going to use. So I've got 400 grams of cubed butternut squash, which I've peeled and just cubed about that sort of size. I've then got a whole courgette, which I've made similar size to the butternut squash. I've got a whole red onion. Don't worry if you haven't got a red onion, guys. A brown onion, a white onion, whatever onion you've got will be fine. I've quartered that, sorry, I've made that into eighths and I've left the root on so as it all stays together when it's roasting in the oven. I've got a red pepper. Don't worry if you haven't got a red pepper, an orange one or a yellow one will be fine. Um, and I've made that similar size to the butternut squash and the courgette. Um, and then I've also got a tablespoon. This is sunflower oil, but whatever oil you've got is absolutely fine. You could add a little bit of crushed garlic to this if you wanted a little bit more flavour. Um, and then I've got 200 grams of dried couscous. I've got two lemons, which I'm going to take the zest off. That's just the yellow bit uh, with my grater. Um, and then I'm going to squeeze the juice out as well. I've also got a stock cube and I'm going to add boiling water to that, up to 300 mils. And finally, I'm very fortunate is that I've got a lot of fresh herbs in my garden. I've got a mixture there of parsley, uh, marjoram, sage, thyme, rosemary, tarragon. Um, I think that's it, yeah, in there. But don't worry if you haven't got those guys, we're gonna use, you can use mixed dried herbs as well. So, should we get started? Now, so get, make sure you've got your oven preheated to fan 200 and uh, gas mark 6. So what we're going to do, I like to do this, I like to put all my veg into a bowl first, so as the oil covers them completely. So in goes the butternut squash, in goes all the courgettes, in goes the peppers. What a lovely colour, real rainbow of colours there, so we're really getting a five a day in this mixture. Um, and then I'm going to drizzle all the oil on top. Okay, see we don't need an awful lot of oil. And you could use fry light if you prefer. And then I'm going to use a little bit of pepper. Give it a nice seasoning. As I say, you could add garlic to this if you wished. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Now this is completely optional. Um, how much salt and if you put any. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Then I'm going to put my four tablespoons of freshly chopped uh, veg, um, herbs that were in the garden. Now if you're going to use dried herbs you probably only need about two to three teaspoons. Um, if you like a lot of herbs put a little bit more. So in that goes and then I'm going to get a spoon, you could put your hand in if you wanted to, and I'm going to give that a really really good oh, stir around. Look at all those beautiful colours. And they're all now going to roast. Can you see they're all fairly similar size? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a baking sheet. I've got two just in case. Um, but what you don't want, I'm just going to tumble them on top now. Oh, doesn't that look amazing? Now what you don't want to do is you don't want anything on top of one another. If they are on top of one another, just do a couple of trays. But I think that's going to roast beautifully in the oven. So I'm going to pop that in the oven now for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to get them out and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do afterwards. So that, these have had 15 minutes and now I'm going to turn them and all you do is get a sort of a, any sort of knife will do and you literally just turn them over. So it gets a nice even bake. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to return them to the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. Right, while the vegetables are doing their last bit of cooking, we may as well prepare the couscous. So our 200 grams of, we can use the same bowl as before, save on the washing up, I'm always a big fan of that. So put the 200 couscous grams into your bowl. And then I've just added 
300 millilitres of boiling hot water from the kettle into my stock cube, which is a vegetable one, but you could use chicken, um, you can use any sort. So in that goes, and you could now add your lemon juice and your lemon zest. Now, I have some rather big lemons and I think, depends how much you like lemon, but I'm only going to use about half of this. I'm not a huge fan of too much lemon, so I'm gonna use half. What I suggest you do is do a similar. Um, I'm just gonna use a tablespoon. You can always add afterwards. Um, and then I'm going to give it a nice stir, like so, so it all gets covered. And then I'm just going to cover it. Now I'm going to use some cling film, but if you haven't got cling film, you can always put a plate on top, something like that. And we're going to leave that stand for five minutes. So the couscous is at it five minutes, so let's just take the cover off, get a fork, and just give it a really good, what we call fluffing up. Give it a really good mix. Smells delicious. And now's the time that you could add some seasoning. Now, I would not add any salt to this because stock cubes can be a little bit salty. Um, you can buy the low, low salt ones, which are obviously much better for us. But I am going to add just a little bit of pepper to this. I've got black pepper, but if you've got white pepper, that's fine. I do like quite a bit of pepper. Um, so I'm going to add that much. Okay, so that now is all ready for our roasted vegetables. So, here they are, they've had another 15 minutes. They look and smell delicious, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my spatula again and just release them all. And I'm just gonna scrape them all into the couscous. What lovely colors that looks. And I'm gonna get my big spoon and I'm gonna give it a really good stir around. Now, I'm going to have a little try first, just to see whether I need to season it anymore and see if we need to add any more of the lemon juice and lemon zest. And I might add a few more herbs. We'll just see what it tastes like. So I'm going to get myself a nice clean fork and I'm just going to have a little taste just to see what I think about the seasoning. It definitely doesn't need any more lemon juice for me, but you might think so. But what I think I'm going to do is I've chopped some more mixed herbs up. I'm about a tablespoon. I'm going to shake that in. And I think it probably needs, for me, some more seasoning, some more pepper. So I'm going to pop that in, like so. I like a lot of pepper, so there's quite a bit in there. And then I'm going to give that another stir. Okay, so using the other fork, let's have a try. So we're we ready to have a go, guys. So I'm going to get some nice bit of courgette, an onion, and let's have a try. Ooh, it's quite hot, guys. I'm going to have a little blow. Mm. Mm. That is delicious, guys. You really need to try that. Wow, that's lovely flavours. Enjoy.